Let's get this started. All right, one, two, three. Here we go. Hey, hello. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here we go. All right, I'm still high and super happy for pulling Videl just yesterday, but yeah. Uh, hi, it's JD, and I'm here to uh, play a little bit of Dokken. I do have a couple of extra stones, so I was thinking about doing a couple of pulls, as well as playing Battlefield and testing out the new unit, because, you know, it's fun to pull them, but also like to play with them, obviously. Um, so, uh, I actually just finished... Um, let me just look her up super str and there she is okay so this like i actually ended up grinding her over the day um because i was like you know not i'm not gonna spend you know the whole stream just playing the dokken event 11 times and then also farming her her essay which was actually pretty pretty easy to be honest um so i went ahead and did that off camera and it was really easy, uh, for real. I, it wasn't as, as hard as I thought it would be. Um, because usually I remember that the drop for that video, the int video, that it's free. Um, it's extremely tough to get it, actually. And I remember it was a pain in the ass to, to finally get it uh, at, the, at the time that it dropped. Uh, or at the time that I did the event. But... Um, this time they have a new category bonus, so it was really easy. And uh, yeah, I was checking out her passive, and it's amazing. It's a great passive, and and it's it feels like a really well-rounded unit. It has a lot of boost and a lot of uh, well, it has dodge and uh, uh, boost when when attacking and when getting attacked as well. Uh, plus, she is an infinite stalker of attack, as well as getting an, an unit essay with Kohan. So I was like, you know, obviously, not only is she a great unit, but I also really like her. <laughs> this is why I wanted to pull her so bad. And I was super hype about her ever since I realized that she was coming to to Global. Um, and I've been, waiting, I've been waiting for her for, for quite a while. So yeah, I'm really proud of, of getting her. It's really, like, it's a really cool card to, ha to have and you know it always helps that you like the character that you're gonna play as so what we're gonna do right now is i'm going to attempt an lgt run with bidel um as well as obviously like a majin buu saga team uh so that's what i'm gonna that's that's what i had in mind and uh, Thank you for the follow, uh, Fragilities. Thank you. And that's what, it, yeah, that's what I had in mind in order to, like, actually, you know, um, testing how good she can be. And, you know, testing her with Fight Tien, which is a great rotation, all in all. And if Tien is one of my favorite units. I was talking about that yesterday. I have him rainbowed. Uh, so obviously that really helps, but I was thinking about running them together. I don't know how they're gonna do together I don't know how everything is gonna go, but I'm like, you know, might as well just test her out This is like apart from the goat event. This is probably like the hardest event to test units on I could try the original Goku event, but it's like, you know, at this point it's really easy to do it It will be a nice test just to see but I'm thinking about, you know, I read her passive and I'm really impressed. This is like legit. This is the first time that I'm that I'm playing with her. Okay, so you know, um, so let's just go ahead and, and jump into it. I wanna uh, do a super str because I want to get one of these, a nice Vegeta friend, and then pick him as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and pick Majin Buu Saga. And of course, I'm gonna pick. Ah, uh, where are you, my friend? There you go. I'm gonna pick the new unit. But then I'm, I was thinking about doing. Hmm. I mean, obviously, that Gohan is a great choice, and then Fai Tien is gonna be like my main retention. Is gonna be uh, Videl and Tien, and then Gohan. And I was thinking maybe not. Not Goten. Sorry. I was thinking maybe 
this card that I've not used as much. I like him, but I've not used him a lot. So I was thinking that, I don't know, it would be a nice test to see how good he fares in the GT event. Uh, I know that he was really awesome in the God event. I used him a lot uh, because my main team was the Majin Buu Saga. So he was great supporting and he was great uh, because he has damage reduction. Plus I have him rainbowed. It's a nice test to have him probably next to, to Tech Gohan. And uh, you know the rest is kind of hard to pick. Um, I could go with a, with a Battle of Wits as well. But I'm thinking like if I'm gonna have the Vegeta's ro uh, in rotation uh, or you know rotating and not really in, in floating I'm sorry that's what I meant I'm gonna have them floating I, I don't really need another Vegito. I think uh, it will be extra insurance for sure but I don't know if I want to have that um, I know that I have this Goten and uh, Int Go or Goten at Gotenks at 55% so that will be also a nice test run to see how they do um, I don't know what to pick for the last uh, for the last lot, but uh, I don't know. It's it, I'm trying to to come up with a nice theme. Maybe yeah. I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Gotens and see how they do. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Um, I've been in this event before. Uh, I am actually missing a couple of missions. The main one that I'm missing is Kurori Body and Mind and Connected Hope. Uh, those two freaking suck. Like, they're the worst thing ever on planet Earth. Um, and, you know, I was talking about when I was doing my summons yesterday, I was talking about how, like, I genuinely would jump out of my shirt if I got um, into black. That's how desperate I am to try and beat that mission because he's a, a defense stalker and I don't have him. Hi, hello. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna do the run right away. Okay, so let's try and, and you know, figure this out. Uh, hopefully she won't disappoint me. I just don't see how she will be disappointed. She will be disappointing, but you know. Okay, so we don't have her in rotation yet. And I think it will be wise to keep Vegito here. And then go things right here as well. I'm gonna uh, float Tien so that I can have him next to Videl as soon as possible. And the first phase shouldn't be an issue whatsoever, to be honest. Alright, so let's see how this run works. I was like, I legit was thinking about doing just a normal uh, Goku event. But I was like, you know, that's... Like, that would be too easy. And I wasn't into doing things too easily. Plus, I've heard so many good things about him. And I really love Tien. And I, I'm very happy because now I have a, new, uh, a nice... Not the best, but a nice... Um, okay, let's see how... Ah, she can hit super here, but... Let's see if I can play with the orbs a little bit. Yeah, I can. Okay. That's a relief. Because she can start stacking attack right away. And then, yeah, I'm gonna float off this Gohan anyway. Okay, so not the, the ideal rotations that we wanted at the start, but it's okay. It's part of the game. Okay, there he goes. Okay, she starts off nicely. I mean, this is 55%, and she's almost hitting for 2 million with support uh, floating with Gohan. Okay, so there we go. I really like this unit as well, this Gotenks. He's at 55% as well, but he was really useful for my uh, run in in the God event, in the God of Destruction event. Okay, so now we have, okay, now we have Goten, Gohan here, and this should be easy. Okay, we don't want to do that. We want Gohan to have all the key he can get. And that sadly means uh, my Go thinks is gonna get slapped. <laughs> In that third slot, he's gonna get slapped. Uh, I know it. But... I mean, I don't see another way around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter.
Okay, that's nice damage. I really love this unit, honestly. Like, I don't get people who don't like uh, Gohan. I just don't get it. It's like he does nice damage, but in the middle of it all, he's, he becomes a great tank. And he, he can tank whatever the fuck they throw at him. He's amazing. If only we had supered, but I think that he's gonna super my, yeah, my go things. Okay, he didn't, but I, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We have the active already, but I'm not gonna do that. We can't super this turn, which is really too bad, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Let's see if she dodges at least. Yeah, there you go, okay. Please do an additional, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's really nice to have. She's stacking attack every time she, she supers anyway. Okay, that was really solid. Okay, so now we have a bit of an issue with this freaking rotation because we have two STR units. Uh, against an AGO, but okay. We'll figure it out. Hopefully. And I don't want to use items right away. My motto for this type of events is just don't freaking use items until you get to the later parts. Until at least the giant ape, I will say. Okay, so this becomes hard he has damage reduction but he's gonna get hit hard i think okay so far so good with normals ah there you go i knew he was i knew it was coming we had gotten too lucky yeah that's not pretty to see but still thank you <laughs> thank you for the follow goku is god <laughs> that's a great username man joe how are you man Okay, so I don't know if it was a great idea to bring um, that uh, that Gohan to the rotation. And I think it will be best if I float him off and just take whatever I can with his support. But I'm going to figure it out as I go. Especially because he got his, his defense lowered because of freaking Goku. Uh, so there we go. And then Gotenks can actually like build his defense up a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's a beautiful t side to see. Like, she hits really hard. And yet another one. Yeah, I really like this unit, man. <laughs> I just really hope my first run with, with her is gonna be successful, you know? And the end hasn't getting... hasn't... Uh, taken a hit yet, so far. So really, when I was thinking about doing this run, I was thinking about the fact that maybe some people don't really want to see... Like, I know that you can find... Probably, I'm not sure if already, but I'm sure that you can find, like, rainbowed... Ah, oh, don't worry, man. It's cool. You do as you please. Thank you for watching, actually. But... Um... I'm pretty sure that you can find like rainbow showcases, but I feel like most people can't, you know, rainbow the new unit as soon as as they come out. Come out. So I feel like you know this is generally my first run with her. So I feel like this is quite realistic, and it gives you an idea of what you're getting before you summon, if you were planning on summoning. Ah, oh, God, I hate that I can super. Like, that's the one thing that everybody talks about Videl, to be honest, and, and in a bad way, is the fact that she can't get enough key most of the time, or a lot of the times. Uh, she has additionals anyway, but the problem is her link set. So I understand that, to be honest, and I, I hear that. I have to um, up her link levels. This is the first time I, I'm using her, so, you know, I, I can't really say that I put in the work yet. But um, and she'll get better as, as time goes on and as I grind her up. God damn it. Um, but that's the one thing that people talk about. Uh, meanwhile, this Gohan that I have here, 
is fully leveled up and this one over here is not um but he's still a nice uh, support to have and i think they link okay no they don't actually link that well i think that if after transformation he might they might I, I ju i'm just keeping them together because of the the support but i think that later on i'm gonna have go things uh take over the rotation and I'm gonna, I don't see any reason as to why I wouldn't uh, use the active right here. I think this unit is very underrated, to be honest. I love this Gotenks very much. Okay, and he doesn't have many key issues right here, so let's do it. Okay. I feel very safe whenever I see this Gohan in rotation. It's like nothing can touch him. So it will be... Ah, uh, too bad he didn't super me there. I think he's gonna super my, my S3 Gohan again. Right? Okay, no. I, I, I think that this freaking AI, bro. Like, every time they see a type disadvantage unit, they target him. So I think it's gonna be go things. Okay, not so bad. He didn't. I'm always so nervous because this Goku is a freaking pain in the ass. Okay, so there we go. One super coming up and a Doken attack. And then I can do this. Okay. Let's see if I don't miss. This is the first Doken attack I get on stream. <laughs> Time to get serious. Ah, damn it. I missed one. Okay. But a unit super attack with a Dokken attack, it should be quite devastating, I guess, against a fire unit, nonetheless. Okay. Yeah. And then the... The additional... Okay, there you go. And this is where it gets serious. Because this freaking stage is awful. And okay, so this is where I gotta decide what the hell do I do? Do I? I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to listen to myself and I am going to keep this Vegeta on rotation. Keep Gohan on rotation and send the Gohan that had his defense lowered uh, floating because that way Bidel was gonna be even greater um, with two supports next to her and she's gonna help me win the run probably. I'm gonna keep it all as it is and I'm gonna trust. Um, yeah, 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 okay. Especially like Vegito, I, I believe he raises his defense whenever he attacks. So really, like, I don't see a reason to not put him in the first slot if he's not gonna get attacked right away. And he has damage reduction as well. So I feel safe. This is the, you know, the shaky unit, but I really wanted to test him anyway. Yeah, ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. Yeah, I did, but holy hell, that was close. Well, not really that close. It was just 100k damage, but the problem is he had his defense lowered again. So he's gonna be even more dangerous to keep in, uh, around. And then here I gotta check out on, on, on Tien. I don't know if it's wise to not use an item here, so I'm gonna use a Wiz just in case, just to be sure. Just so that people can say that I didn't try. It's really too bad. I really wanted to try a no item that, but you know, I don't think it's meant to be. Okay, yeah, that's nice. With su with another support, she's gonna be even better. And uh, nice miss, by the way, Tien. <laughs> Okay, time to see his defense as well, I guess. Okay, he, he's nice. He's, he's really reliable. Tien is really re reliable in any run. 
I only really had issues with him on the God event as well. He was not as reliable, but yeah. And this Goat thinks is fantastic. Like, I'm always surprised by him. Like, you know, 3 million damage on every super and he guarantees an additional. Like... Okay, so here there are some plays to have. I think... It's not a good idea to transform the Vegetas yet. So I'm not gonna do that. Because this freaking monkey, it's too freaking raw. Okay, there you go. And there you go. Okay, I think I think we're safe so far. We have a waste anyway, but uh yeah. Okay. So far so good. I'm not even worried about this one. This rotation is it seems very solid. It's really too bad again, it's really too bad that my Super Saiyan go and got destroyed by supers two times and one from an AGL unit you know it's it's unfortunate uh, but you know it's part of the game I don't think he's built well enough for um, uh, an end game run to be honest that's the only wink link you are the only wink link, wink link, wink link my friend so I'm gonna send you over here Okay. No, he does need the herbs. So, yeah. Please dodge. No dodge. Okay. Jesus. No way. I lost the freaking game. Ah, dude. That was tough. I thought that she was going to dodge. It's really too bad. I thought that we were safe. I thought that we will be, we will be able to, like, actually get to to the next phase. I think I'm gonna do it again. I just... Damn it, I, I was so sure. Okay, so let's try again. Jesus. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Okay, no, wait a second. I want my leader. And I want... Fidel as well. I really want to have a winning run with her. Okay, so here we gotta be... Okay, I don't think I'm gonna take Super Saiyan... Gohan again. Um, I think Gotenks did okay. Despite, like, he takes it a while to build up, but I think he did okay. And then maybe for extra insur insurance, I can take another Vegito. This time, not being, you know, stubborn. So I'm gonna take Int Vegito. And I'm not gonna, again, I'm gonna try to keep um, the rules coin. I'm gonna try to showcase Videl as a slot one unit. Unless things get again real tough, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to to center the run around her because I really wanted to see what she can do. It's really too bad. Okay, by the way, I should be taking one of these. By the way, taking Oolong to to this fight makes no sense. I'm really disappointed at myself for what happened. It's just like, I think it was avoidable, but I just decided not to. I was like, no, I'm not going to, to fuse the Vegeta, so I don't need it yet. And I needed it. Okay, here we go. I kinda like, I want to see now that we got this rotations off and I know that Goten 6 is, is in this one and Vegito, the two Vegetos are here. I kinda want the game to give me Videl and Gohan together to see like how they do when it comes to to Ki when they're in rotation together. Because they don't link very well unless you transform Gohan. Which is a possibility by the way, I could try that. Okay. Defense lowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, NTS Pekka. I don't, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Okay, see, I, I can get them to super. No, I can't. Jeez. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a problematic rotation, to be honest. 
that's the thing. I can just hope that my Rainbow Gohan gets an additional. That's what I can do so far. Yeah, because he ain't, he's not gonna super aid. Okay, so that's, you know, that's a positive thing of having him rainbowed. But, you know, it's not a usual side. Ah, and we didn't even get to see the though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. I think, you know, it will be interesting also to just transform Gohan right away. And see what uh, they both do together. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, this freaking sucks. This is key issues at their best. <laughs> okay, the end just stays reliable. Yeah, and he takes normal like a champ. Like, you know, I really am. I'm really happy with that unit, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna take a super, but it's okay. Yeah, see, this uh, Brigido is also reliable because of his damage reduction. But uh, as long as they are not fused, but and also, you know, we are very lucky because we have a fire enemy. There you go. Okay, you got the active, but I don't need it right now. And you cannot super. Alright. So that's, you know, that's always fun. Oh god. Okay, what can I do to actually make this work? If I have Gen on the other rotation, I was dumb and did not uh, float him off. And this time I didn't get lucky with an additional, but I think I'm gonna get lucky with an additional with Videl. Yeah, there you go. It's actually, it's not even lucky, it's because it's built in. But yeah, it's, it's nice to see her do something this run. The other one she shined a little bit better, but... Okay. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I'm like, I knew that, that a super was coming. At least it wasn't on my SDR Vegito. So that's a positive, but it's not always pretty to see. Okay, there you go. Yeah, he's gonna attack like nothing because he's raising his defense. I truly believe, by the way, that Vegito, like SDR Vegito, is probably like one of the most valuable units in the game. I will say it's top three, along with AGL Master Ultra Instinct and Tech Gohan, in my opinion. It's just my opinion, but I think that without SDR Vegito, a lot of uh, my runs for the God Event wouldn't have worked. Okay, there you go. I can transform you now. I'm gonna do it right away. I don't care. I just, like this run, I think it's not going to get very far, so I think I just want to transform him in order to see what they can do together, because I know that they can link, okay, they have like two attack links together, and I'm talking about Gohan and Videl. It's really too bad that we have to go through all this build up in order to like actually see them together, but with Key, with key they, they still have issues, that's the thing. Okay, that's quite a lot. Okay, and in this lineup we have like a whole new generation of Majin Buu Saga. <laughs> of Majin Buu Saga characters with Bidel, Gohan, Ultimate Gohan and Gotenks. Okay, yeah, that like this is nice with, with nice when it comes to damage. And defense it's okay, it's really solid. But again, I don't think the Ruron is gonna get so far. Okay, so...
What do I want to do here? I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull the trigger right it right away early because I don't want to use an item anyway. God, I love this unit so much. Okay, there you go. And I can see the super attack and I think it's very uh, safe to have the untransformed unit take it. And this one is not going to be able to freaking super, but that's okay. Okay, especially after raising their defense. This event is like full on throwing and I can't wait to get, you know, the Vegeta counterpart. I know that it's coming to global. It's not GT themed, but it's gonna be great to have it. I enjoy difficult content. I enjoy getting my ass kicked on Dokken. I think it's really fun because, you know, it's what makes the, the victories great. But sometimes it gets frustrating, you know? I really hate that they have dodge. <laughs> it's really fucking frustrating, but it's okay. Yeah, and okay, doesn't matter. We're good. Okay, so you are able to, to super this time. So you're gonna, you know, wreck some shit. I think, you, like, actually, Videl is gonna deliver the final blow right here. She didn't? Come on, you're making me look like a... Like a liar. Okay, there you go. I was like, come on. And this is where it gets tough. Again. Okay, so let's start with this. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. I just remember something. I can see if... Uh, the enemy is going to super attack anyway, so I think if I do this and then this I should be safe in order to counter attack the normal attacks that Goku is going to throw at me Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hope I'm not mistaken, by the way. I don't know if it... it because sometimes the, the um, we're seeing super attacks is related to HP. And I, I don't quite remember um, how it worked for Vegito. But I hope I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it's a beautiful sight to see like Vegito doing 5 million damage. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see how they how he counters. He ha he counters okay. He's taking nice damage. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's okay. Yeah, it's like we are almost taking as much as we are giving away. So, eh, it wasn't as worth it to be honest. Okay, there you go. Okay, you can super. So I'm gonna throw Gohan in the middle. And then you can super right away. And then you can as well. Okay, so that's a good rotation. Um, Hold on. I always fail one, god damn it. Uh, I actually got her on the discounts, on the last um, on the last step of the discounts. And I was very surprised. <laughs> I celebrated because I really wanted to get her. But yeah, it didn't take me as long. I'm actually thinking about doing a couple of summons more because I need Bojack and um, I need a uh, black. But yeah, and uh, maybe like, I think she will be fantastic with a couple of dupes on. Because she's already like really fun to use, but you know I think it's obvious that she will be better if she was doing 
uh, a little bit more damage with and a little bit more defense with another dupe. But yeah, with the the first rotation it was done. I was very pleased, especially because you gotta say for you know the worldwide celebration that's coming. I mean, Gohan is a really nice is a really nice pickup to be honest. Oh god, this is a really tough look. Gohan is a really nice pickup. I think I was talking yesterday and I, I, I repeated today that Gohan is like probably one of the most valuable units in the game. And, you know, it's a really nice pickup to have. But if you really wanted Bidel, you know, it's really too bad for you. I, and I, I'm sorry. I, if you want to go back to the banner, I, in my opinion, uh, it's not that bad of a banner, to be honest. It depends on your box and it depends on, on what you want to do. Because if you already have, like, for example, Bojack, or if you have, like, Trunks uh, Rainbow or something like that, then, you know, it's probably not worth it for you. But um, if you don't, then I, I would recommend that you summon again, if you want to. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do this. I think that for the sake of my sanity, I'm gonna pop a whiz and hope for the best. Uh, Gohan didn't stack as much uh, this run. This is why I was saying that I don't think he's gonna get too far. And he's gonna have to take the super. Oh yeah, tell me what you got then. <laughs> yeah, with, with Mr. Satan and, and Boo, I think that's uh, a guaranteed um, feature unit, I believe. No! <laughs> Goku Black again, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, that happened to me on my summons with uh, for Vegeta on the anniversary. I got shafted so hard for like a bunch of stones because I only got in cell so many times. I'm sorry, man, it's tough luck. It happens to the best of us. I think that, you know, there are good there are good um, faces of Gdokan and bad faces of Gdokan. You know, it happens. Okay, let's try and do this. I'm going to have my damage reduction unit take the, the super. I know that we have a whiz, so we should be okay. No, I, I'm sorry, I don't have a Discord. I apologize, dude. Uh, I've been told that I should get one, but <laughs> I don't know why it's taking me so long. Especially because every streamer on planet Earth seems to have one. Okay, that's a nice crit. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'll be able to like, you know, actually defeat Goku this time, but we'll see. This event is really hard. I, I can tell you that much. Okay, there you go. Okay, and we should be fine if they hit, yeah, they hit the super, so we should be fine. For this rotation at least. Let's see. Yeah, with a grand total of like 70% damage reduction between the, the Wiz and between I get really excited because I just looked at my screen and I'm like I can get Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send Bidel for the For the super attack uh, at the beginning Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about this rotation because it's Gohan plus Bidel plus Tien and not only are they uh, like three of my favorite characters, but also uh, You know, this is like Probably like the best that you can get for Videl right now. Unless I was thinking about doing another run with Peppy Girls, but we'll see about that. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's honestly okay. It's a nice uh, sight to see. 3 million damage and then another additional. So that's a total of like 6 million to almost 7 million damage uh, for a 55% unit. That's really cool, honestly. She, ra she raises attack infinitely. So she's built for this type of events. 
It's really too bad she doesn't race defense, but after super she races it for one turn, so she is really solid all around. I'm impressed by her, and I think she will be best with a couple of dupes, but you know, you can't win them all. I guess is what I'm trying to say with that, you know. Okay, so what the hell do I do here? Okay, so this is really glass cannon. <laughs> because now... Okay, so I can do this and then do this one, right? And then I can... Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pop the whiz right away because I, I think this is like my most glass cannon rotation right now. And I don't want to lose this run again. And by the way, this Int Vegito, I think it's at 55% as well. So, yeah, I, I'm not like your typical streamer well, I apologize. But if you wanted to see like 100%, you're not gonna see it here. But you know, at least, once again, I think it's quite realistic to see this type of showcase, to say the least, and this type of runs, because it's the type of runs that everybody in the fan base uh, gets, you know. Or most people, because not everybody spends as much. Ah, damn it. That, I really hate to see that. Am I gonna get game over? Oh, no, 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 no. It's cool. Okay, I cooled. Okay, let me make a decision here. I think it's... I don't know if it's worth transforming him. Uh, and by him, I mean Vegito. But I think... I'm thinking I'm gonna do it because of the, you know, seeing um, super attacks. I think that's gonna be useful. And I think that I'm gonna need to heal anyway. I know that... I think that... I, I'm, I'm making the decision as well because I have a Wiz on right now. So I think that it's it will be worth it to have it. To have the Wiz on while take damage and I also do counters. So let me see the, the rotation again and there are no super attacks so we are relatively safe. Okay, so the important thing here is that it would be great if Bidel gets hit and it dodges at the same time because we're gonna get two boost from that so she got hit and she didn't dodge but that's okay ah but <laughs> bro it's so frustrating to see how the fuck is he dodging that what the fuck man i was like dude that's great you know <laughs> this freaking goku man okay go on Fantastic units, unit as always. Goku being a pain in the ass, dodging again. Was Super Saiyan 4 in GT? I, I, it's been a while since I, I watched GT, but was Super Saiyan 4 Goku known for dodges? Am I missing something? Like, goddamn. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we're halfway there, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to to get where we want to get. I think that this really sucks, to be honest, because it means I have to put this Vegito here. Okay, this wasn't wise, to be honest. And I think I may have fucked up the run. Because I could have put Tian there. And I didn't. I don't know why I, mistrust I mistrusted Tian. I think I was too focused on keeping the... The rotation that I wanted. Okay, just fuck it, dude. If I lose, I lose, and it's obviously my own fault. I think... Okay, so far not, not bad. 
I was just hoping that, you know, Vegeta was gonna get destroyed. You know, 100k on every single hit, every single normal hit, but apparently not. Because, you know, it's only after Super that he gets decent defense. Okay, that's great. Okay, I'm, I'm safer now, I think. Let's just see how my in Vegeta takes the super from Goku. If we even reach that stage, maybe if we get lucky with criticals, we'll be fine. But we'll see. Just one more crit and, and I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> Okay, fighting Goku is always really cool. It's always really fun. Okay, so that was a nice little showcase. I know that it wasn't the best because of the rotations. It was a little bit wonky because the point was to have a Tien and... Nice, I don't even know what the hell I completed. But the point was to have Tien and Videl as close as possible in the first run, but that didn't work, obviously. It didn't help also that I decided to bring uh, the, the free-to-play SGR Super Saiyan Gohan into the run, I think that was a killer. And it's really too bad because I really wanted him to work. I think that uh, we got unlucky with two supers that completely destroyed him and his defense. Uh, so his damage reduction went to hell. Uh, but he's a really nice support. I, I still have a high opinion on STR Gohan. I just don't think he was made for this run. Um, otherwise, what I saw from Videl was fantastic. I mean, constantly putting up like 3 million damage on every super. Uh, or around four when I when um, when I was on her last turn and I didn't even get to see her active, which now that I think about it is really too bad. I played it really safe, but yeah, um, the fact that you know she was doing that like four million, then another four million. It was, she was doing like eight million every single um, turn, every single rotation. I think that's fantastic, and I'm very impressed. I'm really happy that I finally beat the freaking event that I wanted to beat. And let's see what the hell did I do here. It's telling me that I... Okay, I completed the missions, okay. So, before I do the battlefield and before I proceed to probably do the, the sea areas, I was thinking about doing like a couple of multis like just 100 stones to see what I get in the banner because it would be fantastic. I just wanted to do the showcase for Videl, like literally level one links and 55%, you know, just so that people that didn't pull her can know what the hell they're getting uh, if they do get her. Um, I know that this banner has value for me. The only unit that I don't want to pull is Gohan, but you know, it's part of gambling to be honest. Uh, you know that, that you can just end up a loser, get nothing. I hope that I don't get Gohan because I already have him rainbowed. Not because I think he's a bad unit, because he's fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna do like two multis this time and see where that leads me. I'm hoping for Bojack, Goten, or Black. Those are the two units that I'm missing. So let's see what. Or a, a dupe for Videl would be fantastic. But let's just go ahead and do it. I mean. Okay. Okay, that is that seems like an awful pull right away. Okay, we got a we got a screen break. Okay, let's see what the hell. Okay, so so bad so so far so bad. Come on, man. Okay. We already have uh, int 18. So it's whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and do another one right away. Okay, so that's not a, a good sign either. But, you know, let's see. It's, you know, it's whatever. I already have what I needed. But uh, it would be fantastic if I could get uh, a couple of extras in Bojack and Black. Okay, that's Videl, but not certainly not the one that I needed. And I actually don't have that tech Frieza. So that's a nice get, but not exactly what we were looking for. Okay, so 
So far, we've gotten a losing run, a nice run that ended up winning, although not exactly what I wanted to get, um, because I really wanted to max out Pidel, but whatever. And we got uh, two awful shitty pulls. These were awful, to be honest, but okay, it's all good. Uh, it's part of it, and there's news. Okay, there's every maintenance happening. I'm guessing this is for the same name update that we've been getting to get on, on Global. That's gonna be great, especially because uh, so many units are getting S's, uh, Extreme C Awakenings on uh, JP. That is gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so so far I think I'm done with summoning for now, uh, or at least for today. Depends on how many stones I get by the end of the celebration, I might try again. And if not, I'm thinking about purchasing bojack with coins but now okay at last i'm gonna do the the ultimate clash right away and see how we do so the first thing that i do always in ultimate clash and I, this is one of my favorite um games by the way obviously but one of my favorite game modes um so this is the first thing that i do i pick out every single uh part of the unit uh, that is free and then I go away and I pick auto. And then whatever it picks, I just roll with it. I don't think it's gonna get Bidel in, right? Because yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's here. But eh, whatever. I'm just going to Unless I find a really like yeah, this one, I can just get rid of um Grandpa Gohan and Pan. And bring in my girl. There you go. Okay. So this is why I bring the Embardog. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this by this point. But in case you didn't, like the one thing that I do is just go ahead and um, pick the best leader skill. And yeah. And then play the first battle with them. Okay, all right. Should be fairly easy, to be honest. I don't think this, like... It, uh, it would be surprising if this battlefield gives me any, like, you know, problems. But we'll see. You never really know. I believe that we are we are still in the Frieza era. We are not done with Frieza. Um, I know that uh, Japan has um, Shenron already, but... Um, yeah, we don't have it yet. I think it'll come in the next celebration, but so far, uh, nope. I think. I'm not really sure, but, you know, it's a possibility. And then, yeah, I'm gonna seal his super attack right away. Yeah, the, the battle of this should be fairly easy, to be honest. And there's so many, like, <laughs> I was just thinking about that. There's so many people, like, you know, saying uh, or discussing theories about um, what the new uh, worldwide celebration will be. And, you know, a lot of people saying that, you know, it has to be GT because when the hell are we going to get it? Uh, I was saying that actually Future Saga, uh, it's next. I have a feeling it will be that way, but I'm not sure. I don't work at Bad Die, obviously, so I have no idea what the hell is happening for sure. Um, but I was thinking about Future Saga. A lot of people have told me that no, it's not possible. That's not hyping up enough. So maybe Battle of Gods, you know, it's a possibility as well. It wouldn't be as hype for me, except for like if they made a really good busted Super Saiyan Goku. Who go oh well more like you know super saiyan god goku that goes into super saiyan goku uh from that really cool scene you know where he goes i won't let you destroy my world it's like dude that's amazing if they made that then i will go broke in order to get him but 
yeah, I'm not really sure what the next celebration is gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting to see for sure. A lot of people, well, I was like, I was actually banking before everything else that it was going to be Buu Saga again, but it was going to be like Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Kid Buu. Uh, because Kid Buu hasn't gotten like, you know, a decent card in a while. And it makes sense that they continue from, you know, Buu Saga, uh, you know, Buhan versus um, Vegito to, you know, um, Goku versus Buu, and then they have the representation of the NFC, and it will tie in perfectly with like the Videl celebration um, in global to worldwide celebration. Then a lot of people started saying that that was not possible because JP got Super Vegeta right now. But then I'm like, you know, is it gonna be so Saga again? I don't think so. So that's why I propose Future Saga. But yeah, no, nobody really knows. Um, for sure, that's what I can tell you. I have no idea what the hell is happening, but it's going to be interesting to to see, to figure it out. And then I don't know what to pick here. Um, my tech... Uh, my tech is really awful, <laughs> to be honest. It, like, you know, it's not that bad, but it's really thin. I know, that's what I've been saying, dude. Like, I truly believe that Kid Buu really needs a busted, amazing LR. Like, we need that, and I, I will go broke again for that one, I'm um, for Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Like, one of my favorite facts on, in the series is uh, Goku versus Buu, like, for sure. So I think it will make sense, you know, but a lot of people were saying, like, no, th 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 like that's not gonna happen because it's GT's turn. And I'm like, there's nothing really that tells us it's GT's turn, you know what I'm saying? Like... Especially with the recent celebrations, the only thing that I could uh, keep in mind was the Super 17 celebration that came with the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. But recently, there hasn't been anything that really tells us that. So, but yeah, I was thinking, I'm, I'm for sure keeping in my mind that uh, it's gonna be Kid Boo. Uh, I was thinking about that. Then I changed my mind to Future Saga. It would be cool if, if Kid Boo was extreme tech because that roster freaking sucks, as you can see right now. On my screen <laughs> that roster really really needs help um let's go ahead and pick okay i'm not gonna pick tech hit he sucks but i'm gonna pick this one yeah i hope i'm not overkilling it i hope yeah let's go if i fucked up doesn't matter but Damn it. <laughs> Keys again. Whatever. Uh, maybe when I will surprise us with a unit that has an active skill that changes the character type mid fight. That seems problematic as fuck. <laughs> as in, it will be incredibly broken. Like, straight up broken for sure. But it will be interesting. Like, I think that's such a game changing unit will probably be like a must summon for every single player. And you know, that's a really cool idea. I think that they will have to come up with a really cool, interesting new um, game mode that uh, will justify it because I think it will be very, very broken, to be honest. Um, because like recently, like I don't know if you've seen the recent uh, Extreme Sea Awakenings, but even the, the F2P units become incredibly busted like that like they've been incredible so far and even the lrs have been great the old LR, lrs the classic ones so i think that whatever they come up with it has to be like either in the same tier as agl uh, master ultra instinct goku or above and beyond because look at what they did with with buhan and, and vegeto just last year like they are still super usable super relevant like they are MVPs on their run on anybody who uses them on runs for the God event, which is insane. Like it has to be really, really cool. It will be like th that's a really good idea to be honest. I just think that it will be really broken to have it happen because not only is it the, the type change, and then how do you handle orbs as well? You know, like how do you handle uh, hidden potential? 
like it will be it will be really interesting but also like you know game breaking in multiple ways game breaking as in how do you handle uh hidden potential but also how do you handle uh you know the active skill and transformation and speaking of okay and there you go another transformation <laughs> I mean, so obviously we're just gonna try and get the the transformation, the active skill right away. Yeah, I hear that. Um, I mean, but at that point, like, I think the whole fan base will be like, you know, what's the point of you releasing something that cool and then, you know, gatekeeping it under a requirement that it's like nearly impossible to get like I hear that because I think that you're talking about um, probably I'm not sure but you're probably talking about yeah AGL Gohan he's just fantastic but the problem is like I'm still waiting for AGL 16 to release like legit I'm still waiting for, for that to happen because then it will be like it will make a lot of sense you know to, to have Gohan have that sort of uh, restriction but yeah, every time they do that, every time they have like an active skill that is game breaking, they're like, okay, yeah, th you can have this, but only if you get like the perfect storm and perfect conditions to get it. And you're like, man, like, can I just have the nice thing? <laughs> like, can I just enjoy it? But you know. Okay, let's see. Extreme Fi. I mean, I, I don't think we can get at the full team, right? No, not even that. So let's forget about stream Phi. And let's just do Phi. Okay, so here I'm gonna try and think about it better. Um, let me see. Well, I know that this is a Phi. No, this is for extreme only. Okay, so that's a bust. But I think I can use him as a leader. And then... Uh, Jeez, I'm running out of leaders for Fi. This is for extreme as well, right? Yeah, damn it. I mean, I could use Super, uh, super Fi Vegeta, but I don't want to because I want to save him for the other fight. fight. So, let's see what the hell can I pull. Are you, um, yeah, you're a fine leader, so that's okay. So now we move on with the extreme. And hope I can actually beat it. But yeah, uh, transforming Gohan is, is really tough. And they tend to do that. Hopefully they don't do it. Like, hopefully, like, if they do bank on... On something like game breaking and game changing that I just hope they do it uh, for the sake of doing it instead of like giving us a, a really tough um, restriction uh, in the middle of it because it's just really too bad that, that they do that okay and an additional would have been nice by the way there Buhan but okay Thank you, thank you for the follow, Robert. Appreciate that. Okay. This fight shouldn't be that much of an issue, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so used to these freaking trunks always supering, like on the first turn, on the first slot. That I'm surprised he hasn't. Okay, there you go. He's like, there's a super, but no, not as annoying as always. And yeah, now that I look at this Vegeta, a lot of people were saying like, you know, if we're gonna talk about like sagas that are not well represented, like we can always go back to either Namek Saga or Saiyan Saga. 
uh, because those like those part of the anime are, are not being represented at all um, usually and I obviously agree and I think that it will be really hype uh, but I think that it, it's something that you have like you know to have Vegeta and Goku go at it like in the first encounter has to be an, an, an anniversary celebration in my opinion like it's gonna be super high super hype sorry so I'm like, you know, that has to happen, but I think it'll happen, like, maybe on the next anniversary, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen, like, you know, in this iteration right away. I think that they're going to pull the trigger on that, but not yet. And then let's see what I can do here. I think, and uh, actually, this Vegeta is a better leader. I think or is it the same uh, it's the same as as Omega yeah, yeah, yeah okay let's see what I can do here This seems like the type of... Okay, no. I was so sure that, you know, usually these two uh, units in the middle of the battlefield, they always super me first. Like, straight up. This time they're just letting me kill them right away. Like, look at this. And Omega is super powerful. Like, I'm, uh, like th that was, like, I think the first Dokkan Fest. I think he's a Dokkan Fest um, that I rainbowed. And he's just a fantastic unit, unit as well. He's just very limited. I don't have many um, teams for him. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> uh, and I think uh, GT bosses is going to be great uh, as they get buffs. Uh, I don't have Super 17 yet. Uh, but if I had him, I would run GT bosses as well because I think that... Uh, it will be great. It's just an opportunity to, to run Omega Shenron and Omega Shenron is a great unit Okay, so int again, it's a little bit At least the extreme side is a little bit um, Thin let's just say it that way so maybe this and maybe I don't know Mm, who else is an int leader? Oh, I know this this guy so we can do this and then this And then maybe oh, We can take this one And I'm not leaving anyone behind right yeah, 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 yeah. okay This is a nice rotation to have. Come here, there you go. I was like, why is he not getting enough key? It's because um, Janemba stayed on the second slot, but now, now we're on. So yeah, um, I don't know what's coming. I'm not a licker, uh, and I'll never claim to be one. But I knew though, I do know that that I'm hype uh, about it. I think that's gonna be great. Um, Especially because usually I, I truly believe that the the worldwide celebration units are like the best units in the game And you know, it's it's like I mean, of course it's Cell and Gohan have aged But I think that even today they find themselves being very useful And I think like, you know, it's very fun to have them and to run them To be honest, and I, I've never complained about having them on any run whatsoever To be honest Um so let's go ahead and do this, and then... Ah, damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to complain about something here because I cannot get enough key, but whatever. You know, usually these monotype uh, runs that you get uh, for Battlefield are not the best way to show off uh, the units that you have, but whatever. And by the way, 
if anybody ever has any tips to give me uh, when it comes to this game or any game that I play uh, because I very uh, openly claim that I'm a noob at everything to be honest I do think that I know what I'm doing most of the time in, Go in Dokken but if I make like a terrible mistake please let me know that I make a terrible mistake so that I can correct it I'm not gonna be stubborn about it I'm just gonna like you know learn from it and if I have to discuss it I'll, I'll discuss it but I'm willing to, to get feedback because you know to tell you that I'm um, you know to tell you that I'm an expert would be a lie. Don't mind unit, units that age, only because we know at some point they will revisit the units and hopefully... May yeah, I agree. Um, for sure. I think that the best part of Token for sure, is the Extreme Sea Awakenings. Like, that, I think that one and the coin uh, update, you know, the fact that, that we have that pity system in case you don't get the units that you wanted to get, those are the two best ever updates in a gacha game like you know making re uh, units relevant again is fantastic and i think that you know i used to be sad when i pulled the old uh lrs i was like man why do i for example when i pulled this gohan because i'm like i'm not gonna take him anywhere other than you know maybe a nuking event or maybe like a Dokken event and even then like you know when I got him, I there was also like that Gohan releasing, and he was like obviously superior. But now with the the Extreme Sea Awakening, he doesn't look that bad. I know that it's not the best in the world, but it he's still pretty freaking awesome. You know the defense boost really helps, and also the same for Majin Vegeta. You know it's just like a lot of stuff is happening in the game, and I think this is like. I don't know if I, maybe I'm wrong, and, and do correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the Bidel, the Bidel celebration that comes with two uh, Extreme Sea Awakenings, by the way, uh, is probably like the driest the, uh, global has been since the start of the year. I think, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that's, that's how it feels. It's also funny because it's at the time that I decided to start streaming. <laughs> Dokken. Uh, so I started in the driest celebration possible uh, of the year at least. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's interesting how, how Dokken has been extremely filled with content and a lot of things to do and it's thanks to the DC Awakenings and how, you know, they handled um, Frieza, for example, Frieza and Goku, you know, as I in, in in the middle of the anniversary and nobody was expected that I mean I mean nobody in JP was expecting it when it dropped uh, in global we knew it was it was coming but it was still pretty freaking cool to have you know so let's handle this fight right away and this is the most reliable team that I have but yeah it's just like oh for sure but it's just like, you know, Dokken has been... It's been a great year for Dokken. I know that some people usually complain like, Oh my god, this unit is not hype enough for me, so I'm not gonna summon. It, that has been going on a lot, especially um, with... Yeah, there you go. And then maybe... Yeah, okay. Uh, that has been going on a lot. It's been a, a, a strong narrative in the community, um, especially with Bidel, because they're like, you know, Bidel is not hype enough for me. And, um, you know, I'm like, you know, it is hype enough for me. And I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people that love her or that want to get her at the very least because they look at her kit and they're like, man, she's busted. Uh, and rightfully so, she is really freaking cool and really freaking good. And I recommend picking her up uh, whenever possible. If you don't get her with stones, I'm sorry, but um, get her with coins whenever you can. But that's my recommendation. I'm like, it's really cool to have, like, for example, Paikuhan also getting representation and Janemba getting representation twice in a year. I think that, you know, that's a really cool thing to see. I'm gonna feed him these orbs right here and then... And I feel like, you know, um, interesting different characters getting getting the spotlight is always really fun because if it was all up to Gujira and Vegito and, you know, Goku and and Vegeta, it's it's gonna get old eventually, but it's it's bringing new life to the way we play the game, you know. At least in my opinion, I think it's fantastic. And 
even when a character I just don't really like and I, or I don't vibe with a lot, I'm not gonna like trash talk it because usually they do a great job with the kids uh, of the units and they make sure that, you know, if it's not hype enough for a lot of people, they're like, oh, we're gonna make it hype, motherfuckers. <laughs> They're like, and we're gonna make sure that you want to summon for this because it's gonna be a great unit. And they pull it off really nicely. And I know I sound like a fanboy, probably. Uh, but truly, like, I, I really like the the work that they've done this year when it comes to Dokken, for sure. And, uh, yeah, like, units will age eventually unless they are, like, stalkers or have um, damage reduction. Uh, they are less likely to age. But yeah, it's like, it's part of the, cir uh, of the circle of life in Dokken. Let's see how we handle this, by the way, because I know that this is a pain in the ass. But yeah, you know, you gotta like, keep in mind that, that a new units will come and they will be better than the last one. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop enjoying using the units that you do have, you know. Okay, so we can do this one and... Uh, uh, what other SDR type? Uh, okay, this Goku, right? Or am I wrong? No, you you do support super type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 100%. Uh, so that's good. I think I'm gonna use you unless I'm missing the... Oh, well, this is a better... Right now, oh, it's the same. I, I don't want to use Virus and, and Whis, to be honest. I think I'm gonna throw Videl in there, though it's a gamble, I know. And then Gogeta, Vegito, and Vegito as well. And then I'm gonna throw Pan because of her heal. Then let's see what happens. I mean, at least I know that, that Videl can dodge in case things, you know, get real. And uh, you can actually dodge as well, but in the third slot. So yeah, that's a positive thing as well. But yeah, you know, if you don't like positivity, <laughs> then that's fine. And I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of people, you know, just trash talking whatever um, people do. But yeah. Videl plus tech go and interesting. Like that's an interesting rotation. A lot of key issues, but interesting rotation. We tried it. Um, a couple of runs ago um, in the in the legendary GT event and it worked okay um, and I might try it again tomorrow or maybe a Pepe Gals uh, run um, but yeah it's it's a really interesting rotation to have they are both really good at tanking uh, and if Fidel can tank it can dodge and they are fantastic to run together to be honest and you know it really helps a lot that they are my favorite um, couple in the game in the series actually and they are my favorite two of my favorite uh, units in the game as well so let's throw huh. and we also did a couple of if you're just tuning in <laughs> Uh, we also did a couple of awful um, pulls in Videl's banner and we didn't get much of value, but yeah. We actually, like, after the run, yeah, there you go. After the run in, in Battlefield, if we end up being successful, then that's going to be, like, the end of the stream, probably. I, I actually, like, had a, a blast because I, I love playing Dokken anyway. And it's been an hour and 20 minutes, according to my, my app. But it, that's insanity because I've not even, like, I've not even uh, felt the time pass. Okay, so what the hell do we do here? I think we can do that. I mean, the thing is, I know that Videl can dodge. But I don't want to risk it all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep her on the third slot for now. Because I know that, yeah, that was coming. And if she didn't dodge that, then that would have been game over, probably. This dude is a really hard hitter. He's a really pain in the ass. When he was AGL, he was like the worst thing ever, to be honest.
Okay, there you go. And then Videl comes in. Oh, it's really too bad she didn't do an additional, but whatever. Ah, we can end it with this right away. <laughs> not the stream, not yet, but yes, the fight. The real fight begins now. Well, not really, it ends no now, actually. There you go. And then we move on to the villains. This one's fairly easy, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and pick... Okay, hold on, wait a second. If this was Fi and this was Tech... Tech... Um, no, this was Tech, Fi, Int, AGL, STR. I think it's what's coming here. I think. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I can pick whatever. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to send you over here because I know that you can get extra key. And I'm going to send you over here as well. I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous because I just remember that if it's AGL, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. If it's SDR, I'm, I'm going to have to use an AGL team. And my AGL teams is not the best. I think that... Um, I think that is not the best, but uh, we're going to figure it out. It used to be tech that was really lacking on my, uh, my end. But it ended up being nice. Um, because of the recent uh, Extreme Sea Awakenings for Frieza and because I pulled um, tech trunks. So that really helps a lot. And also, you know, obviously this Gohan right here. And let's just see the defense. And Frieza is not going to be able to, to super. That was dumb, but okay. There you go. Please don't dodge this. Okay, that's nice. I hate when when the enemy dodges these high impact attacks. Like, come on, just let me finish you. Okay, there you go. And then at last the fight uh, for cooler. So here what I like to do is pick this Vegeta and then pick this one and then uh, form... Oh, I can use... I, I, I forgot that I could use uh, Piccolo. So I think I can use... Uh, okay. Oh, it's pure science as well. I was like, yeah, I was confused. I was like, pure science and, and worthy rivals or super fi. So I'm safe anyway. And actually, I think I'm going to use Roshi. And just roll with it. It should be easy anyway, but, you know, just in case. I was like, yeah, because Vegeta is uh, for super type. And then uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is also for super type, but only Phi. And... Let's go ahead and do this. I love this prime battle unit, by the way. I think that Go uh, Krillin is very underrated. Uh, I think that he's a fantastic unit, and and I'm really hoping that somehow, some way, they pull a world tournament out of their ass. To be honest, <laughs> because I really wanted to have like a really long um, Dokken stream. Uh, using my world tournament team, especially now that I have STR uh, Broly 
and just like generally have like a marathon of me grinding uh, world tournament as much as I can especially because I know that the new LR is Tao Pai Pai and he's a fantastic uh, character I'm a huge fan of of the original uh, Dragon Ball series, um, I love um, C and I really like Super and I like GT as well. But I just like I have a lot of fun memories with C and and the original Dragon Ball. So yeah, I'm like everything that is Dragon Ball related, I'm gonna do it. And I realized that like the grind for the World Tournament is not that bad, to be honest. Um, because I did it for Demon King Piccolo this last time and it wasn't like, you know, it was, it wasn't super fun, but I think that on stream it's going to be, it's going to be fun for sure. And, uh, it wasn't that bad to be honest. It wasn't something like, you know, I wasn't super thrilled about doing it, but at the same time I wasn't bored. You know what I'm saying? And especially because the reward, it was worth it, in my opinion. I have uh, the Vegeta, the, the Extreme 5 Vegeta, uh, the kit. Um, so, hold on, let me see. Rainbow as well, because of that. And he turned out to be a great unit. I used him on my winning run for Extreme Super Battle Road and for Extreme 5. So, he, he was a, a nice pickup, to be honest. Okay. Okay, yeah. We got this battle won for sure. I think the villains are the easiest uh, here. And if we don't win with this one, we should win with the next turn. Okay, yeah, we're done. Now let's see what Prisa has in store for us. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it'll be a super AGL for sure. So we're gonna go with this and this. And then obviously Master Untra Instinct because we gotta have him. And then, yeah, I think Super Vegito. <laughs> I mean, Goten, sure. Uh, Hell and Cauliflower for sure. And then maybe, I don't know. I mean, it's Frieza, so we gotta have... No, no, Tapian. We gotta have Bardock. Bardock, uh, Bardock always kills it against Frieza. So let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully, we win. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Oh, but he sealed me. God damn it. Okay, so that, that was fucking worthless then. Okay, so I'm gonna have you um, rotate it off. Hello, Chaos. It's good, it's good actually, but um, I'm almost done with the stream, but thank you for, for popping up. Thank you for the, the follow. I appreciate that. It's really good. I was like, uh, I tested her early on the stream and I honestly, I recommend her a lot. I had a lot of fun um, using her. I tried too hard to max her out in the first run that I had and that's why I lost, to be honest. Um, and because I was stubborn with my items. But she was really fun uh, to use and I recommend her a lot. I think I'm gonna be using her again tomorrow for sure. I think that it'll be fun. Again, maybe in a Majin Buu Saga, or maybe in a Pepe Gals, or maybe in Defenders of Justice. I don't know how my roster is looking uh, for Defenders of Justice. I'm gonna check it out um, later. Um, but yeah, she was really good. I, I think she's really solid. Um, the thing that I said uh, when I was uh, testing her was that I thought it was a, a very realistic showcase. She was doing around... At the start of the turn, of uh, the turn of the run, she was doing around uh, two million damage, and she was doing additionals, guaranteed additionals. She she essentially was hitting for far, four million da uh, damage, and she was always stacking attack. Uh, and I decided to showcase her, you know, showcase her on fifty five percent because I think that is really 
Honestly. Okay. I, I was just checking out the key and I think I'm not gonna have enough here. Yeah, exactly. And... Sorry, I just focused on, on that uh, too hard, but... Um, Videl was doing like 4 million damage on 55% and level 1 links. And I decided to go ahead and do that um, showcase because I thought that it was really re realistic. You know, not everybody's going to to try and rainbow her. So if you do get her or if you try to get her, you might want to... God damn it, I think I'm going to lose. Uh, you might want to... Um, Ooh, so close. Let's see. Sorry, I'm like... Please don't let me lose this one. Okay. Bro, I think Peppy Goals is a great category, to be honest. Like, I'm not even copying. I'm not even, like, joking or whatever. I think, especially with the current Extreme Sea Awakenings, like, you know, Infidel is getting an Awakening, and we're gonna have the same name update as well. She's a great healer and a nice damage dealer. And uh, we have Extreme Tech um, Android 18 as well coming up, and then also, I think... Uh, my as well. I think like it's becoming a really cool category to have to be honest. Okay, let's see Bardock wreck shit here But yeah, uh, Bidel was doing great on that uh, first start of the run and then also like when we, we were finishing she was doing 8 million damage um, And I'm talking about there you go. We're done. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, 4 million on the first um, essay and then another 4 million on the second one and she was great and she was linked with um, yeah, exactly. And she was uh, linked with um, Tech uh, Gohan. And, you know, they were invincible together. So, yeah, they're fantastic. Um, there you go. All right. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I do. Uh, I read the chat, bro. Hi. Sorry for not <laughs> Sorry for not saying hi right away. I was just finishing up this. Uh, but yeah, I do I do check out people who follow me, and I thank you very much all for for watching and and for uh, following. If you do decide, um, but I'm actually finishing up the the stream right away. Um, it was really really cool to to do this little run. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a repeat. I'm gonna do another showcase for uh, Bidel probably. Uh, this time on a different team. I'm just gonna. Um, check out what I can do with Peppy Goals. And then also, uh, I'm gonna check out my, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that right away. What the hell is my Defenders of Justice um, roster? Because I think that's a niche category and I don't have what it takes yet, right? Yeah, hold on, let me look at it here. I mean, it's not bad, but I think it will be like, it will be a stretch to say that we can defeat the legendary GT event with this, like this roster, to be honest. But you know, maybe we'll give it a shot, or maybe we'll give it a shot with the original Goku event. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for for coming and saying hi. Uh, I appreciate you all, and uh, bye bye. Actually, I think um, <laughs> I think that is, this will be the the end of the stream. Um, I'm just gonna do the transition. Thank you, uh, Saber King Arthur, for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see each other tomorrow, uh, probably for a little bit more of Battlefield because we can do it again. We have to do it three times. And another showcase for Bidel. Um, see ya. Have a good night.